At PRMA, we use nipple sparing mastectomy selectively for women who want to preserve as much skin as possible during the mastectomy part of their procedure. Nipple sparing mastectomy is an extension of the skin sparing mastectomy techniques. The skin sparing mastectomy techniques have really revolutionized breast reconstruction in and of themselves because it was able to preserve more skin on the breast and so that represented a great leap in breast reconstruction. Now with nipple sparing techniques we can essentially preserve all of the skin that's in front of the breast, remove the gland and get a better cosmetic result. And in a nipple sparing mastectomy the incisions are made for the mastectomy adjacent to the nipple in a variety of locations. Sometimes it's underneath the breast at the inframammary fold. Oftentimes it'll be lateral to the nipple, which means toward the outer part of the breast, or going from, let's say, the six o'clock position, if you're looking at hands on a clock, down vertically toward the lower mammary fold. The ideal candidate would be those with early stage cancer, such as stage one, those who have preventative mastectomies for BRCA mutations or other mutations, and those with stage zero cancer such as DCIS, as long as it's sufficient distance away from the nipple to be safe. So one of the concerns that we've had about nipple sparing mastectomy is that it would increase cancer risk. And in some of the early nipple sparing mastectomies, indeed, some of the breast tissue was left behind the nipple and thereby increasing the potential risk. But many studies over the last five to 10 years have looked very carefully at groups of patients and found that with the proper mastectomy techniques, it is a very safe and effective procedure. I think it's important to know that the sensation does not return completely, and it rarely does. However, we do want sensation to return because patients oftentimes are more satisfied both with the natural look of the nipple and with the possibility of some sensation returning in the area. Now, there are ways for us to improve the sensation, such as connecting the nerves from the chest wall to for example, the deep flap, if that's the chosen method of reconstruction. And that may be a way to improve sensation to the actual breast, which will go through to the nipple and provide better sensation.